Um, it just gave me recipes for adobe <laughs> and fried chicken. Hey guys, it's Mia. Welcome back to another video. Oh my gosh, today's video, I'm so, so excited. Now this has to work in with the series that I kind of started. It is me paying some of my favorite drag queens to support them, but also to make a fun video out of it. So if you haven't seen part one where I pay drag race queens on Cameo to critique and rate my Instagram, I'll link that below, so go check it out. But for today's part two of the series, I decided to pay drag race queens on Cameo to teach me a new language. So me, myself, I am a bilingual queen. I know how to speak Japanese and English. Um, obviously English, because duh. Honestly, I would have been a trilingual if my dad taught me Korean, but he didn't. So my dad is half black and half Korean, and my mom is full Japanese. That makes me half Japanese, quarter Korean and quarter black. My first language was actually Japanese, and then English came second. Like I was an ESL student for a little while, and then I'm a military kid, so we moved around. But when I moved to the States, English became kind of like my priority language over Japanese. I think I heard that if somebody is bilingual at least, it's easier for them to learn a whole new language than anybody else who speaks just one language. So I think there's an advantage here for me to kind of grasp onto some of the languages that I'm being taught today. So, I mean, I think I'm gonna do well, but I'm kind of scared. Um, so we're gonna see how we're gonna do today. So before we head into this video, remember that all of my social medias are linked below. I have Twitter and Instagram, so go follow me on those. The links are below. And if this is your first time seeing me, and if you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into this video. So I booked three queens on Cameo for this video, and all three of them happen to be from season 12 of Drag Race. <laughs> So the first video we're gonna be checking out from is from Nikki Doll. Now we all know what language she's gonna teach me. She's teaching me French, basically. She's such a fashion queen, like her looks are amazing. It's so cool. And literally she's such a sweetheart and she's so funny. And it was so sad to see her go so early on in the competition, but I know she's gonna do amazing things. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into her video. Konnichiwa, we are Chai. This is Konnichiwa. Nikita from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 12. I am so excited to receive a cameo request from Okinawa, Japan. <laughs> Just know that I am incredibly excited to be able to soon, very soon hopefully, take a flight and land in Japan and spend oh my two three weeks visiting I'll your beautiful that. country. I have got inspiration for my drag from the youngest I can believe. Also, this look Japanese is everything. Anime and Japanese pop culture and Aww. how I used to watch like Shibuya in Tokyo pictures and seeing all those amazing styles. So I am so 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 excited to be able to visit your culture and hopefully to meet you in Okinawa. Yes! You also have booked this cameo because you wanted me to teach you some French word. Yes. So I have been trying to think what I could teach you and um, I thought that I would just stick to the fashion lingo. So Ooh. let me just translate to you some of... Uh, the fashion words that you need to know in, English, in, in French. So yes. basically fashion to begin with is translated mode. Mode, mode is M-O-D-E. And also, um, there's a lot of words that actually are the same in English, so let me see. For a heel, it's a talon. Talon is T-A-L-O-N. Like talon? Um, Whoa, else? talon. Can, I don't know. A dress mean? is a robe, like robe. That's how oh. we call it, the dress. Interesting. What else can you say? Mm. A wig is a peruque. A peruque what? Is P E R R U Q U E. Pink. And uh, in Spanish, I think it's perucas, which is very, it's a Latin oh. word. Uh, and I think that's it. Let me know if you need any more words. It is actually <laughs> I don't remember one of the any first time that someone asked me to. Uh, teach them something in another language. So Sis, I'm original. I hope that helped and that you will be able to understand a little bit more of how to use uh, fashion words in French. Uh, I love you so much. Thank love you so much you. for your support and I hope to be able to see you very soon. Yes. <laughs> I love that. That's very like her brand, like very fashion and stuff. I didn't think she was going to teach me fashion lingo in French. I think that's so cool. Like it wasn't like a simple like, hi, hello, how are you? Can it took me a second to register my brain. She moved pretty fast, which I appreciate. She taught me like four or five words. I'm gonna have to watch this video back and get back to y'all <laughs> on how I'm doing with 
French lingo on fashion stuff. I legit can't wait until Corona ends so she could come here in Japan and we can like talk fashion. Maybe by the time Corona ends and she comes to Japan, I'll know how to speak in like French about fashion and stuff. Great time. Okay, so the second queen that we're gonna get into is Jackie Cox. Jackie Cox, if I love Jackie. She is such a queen. Like, Jackie has been doing such an incredible job on season 12. Like, she's killing it. She's so amazing. I just can't wait to see what else she's gonna do. I just love her so much. She's gonna be teaching me Farsi, and I'm really excited to learn Farsi from her. Like, I don't think it's a language that was on the forefront of me to learn, so I think this is so cool to be able to learn some new things from her, so let's get into it. Hi Mia, it's Jackie Cox from Hi. season 12 of RuPaul's Drag Race. I hear you want to um, learn some Farsi words. Uh -huh. So the basics are salam, which is salam. hello, khodafes, which is goodbye. Um, and uh, we can also um, say, um, how are you? Hale chetore. Um, oh, you can also fast. say chetori, which is kind of like, what's up? A little more slang. <laughs> um, or um, you can also say uh, happy birthday, which is tavaloret mubarak. And um, <laughs> I'll say I love you, which is do se daram. So hopefully daram. those are some good Farsi <gasps> words and phrases for you to to, to teach um, to the world. And <laughs> I wish I could come visit you in Japan. I hear yes. Okinawa is the like nice warmer part of Japan. If yes. I'm correct. So I'd love uh -huh. to come visit sometime when this is all over and we can see the world. Um, <laughs> and that would be amazing. And until then, I'm sending you lots of love and big kisses too. Mwah. Oh, bye. Okay, so this is more useful. I think like, I mean, I've definitely heard of Salam and the other ones like thank you and like I love you. I have not heard of those. So I think that's gonna be really cool to use from here on out. And I just love how Jackie like knew of Okinawa. That's crazy because I mentioned this in the last video too, but Okinawa, I live on Okinawa. It's a small island under Japan. So we're kind of like technically the Hawaii of the US. Like we're very, we're a tropical island that's under one of the main countries of what we're a part of. Okinawa is not very known. Like if you think of Japan, a lot of people just think of Tokyo and that's it. A lot of people don't know that Okinawa exists. And so for her to know that is kind of crazy to me. Okay, so the last and not the least queen to give me a language to learn is Rakam Sakura. The name's Rakam Sakura, she. Now I know she is a Filipino queen and so I thought she could teach me some Tagalog. Now I have a lot of Filipino friends out here. I feel like if I don't do well with this, then they are going to disown me as a friend. And plus I really love Rakam. I can't wait to see what she's got to teach me. Yeah, it's Rakam Sakura from the cast of season 12 of RuPaul's Drag Race. And I'm here to give you some advice mm. or teach you some new phrases in Tagalog for your YouTube channel. I love you so much. Love Here's you the more. Thing. I don't know too much Tagalog. Actually, <laughs> I don't know any Tagalog at all. <laughs> I know that I'm Filipino and I grew up Filipino, but I never learned it. I like forcefully <laughs> me with Korean it in my head. So we're gonna be learning together. <laughs> so the first thing that I looked up is how to say. I'm a drag queen. <laughs> so a simple way to say I'm in anything is to say the thing and to say ako. Okay. So you would say I'm a drag queen or drag queen ako. Drag queen ako. So let's try it again. How do you say I have a big fat juicy ass in Tagalog? <laughs> Here's a result from the web. Um, it just gave me recipes for adobe and fried chicken. So if there's anything more Filipino than that, I don't know what is. <laughs> How do you say, I have big eyes in Tagalog? Here is your translation. Alright, if you want to say, I have big eyes in Tagalog, it is, Malaki ang matako. Malaki ang matako. I don't know if I'm saying that right, and I can probably tell you that I'm not. So we're gonna do. I'm gonna lip sync it. Malaki ang matako. One more time. Malaki ang matako. Malaki ang matako. Malaki ang matako. Why is she doing that? Malaki ang matako. She's typing, she's like typing with her thumb. I love that. Nails. Mayroon na ako 
akong higante quit. <laughs> Mayroon na akong higante quit. What are you saying? Mayroon na akong higante quit. I have a giant butt. <laughs> <laughs> when the video ends here, literally, Rockham is such a mood. Like, I don't. Because I literally thought she knew how to speak Tagalog because she did say she was Filipino. But I literally feel that. I mean, I'm only a quarter Korean, yes, but my grandma, who is full Korean, has never taught my dad Korean because he's only half Korean. And I don't know why she just never taught Korean to him. So, like, Everybody past my grandma just does not speak Korean. And so like, I don't know. So, I mean, I feel that I totally get it. That was my first time watching all of their videos. I don't even remember the words that they taught me really. I mean, I'll just have to go back and repeat it and like learn it more. Cause I mean, obviously after watching a video once I'm not gonna get it right away. So I'm just gonna have to go back and you know, learn it again. But much love to Nikki, Jackie, and Rockham. Thank you guys so much for sending your videos. I know I like paid them to do this. But I mean, I really, really appreciate it. I think they were amazing. I love them so much. And I can't wait to see all of y'all, hopefully in Japan after Corona. But yeah, that literally made my day. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember to watch the part one for this series where I paid RuPaul's Drag Race Queens on Cameo to rate and critique my Instagram. The link, like I mentioned, is down below so go check that out if you guys would like to see me do more with drag related stuff or do anything more with cameo and drag race queens please let me know you can comment down below or dm me your ideas let me know i'm willing to do it remember to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on my instagram and twitter down below and subscribe to me here on youtube if you haven't already and i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in the next video bye